now available on Instagram. Hello! Welcome to my channel. I thought it'd be fun to go through all my shoes. And because I have a lot of shoes, this is part one. So let's get started with part one of my shoe collection. I think I'm just going to do this very randomly and I'll just pick up different shoes and talk a little about them. Starting with this beautiful pair by Loewe that I love so, so much. I'll probably be saying I love this so, so much over and over again. So you guys can totally make a drinking game out of this. This pair is by Loewe. They give me very much Chanel vibes, but a little wilder Chanel, a little crazier Chanel, a little more even modern Chanel. I feel like Chanel probably wouldn't do a shoe as kind of nutso as this. It would be a lot less nuts. The chains are so cool, but they're also totally removable. I just love these shoes for all these fun design details that go into them. I love this roping mixed with the leather, mixed with the chain mixed with the crazy heel. So yes, these are Loewe and I love them very much and they're actually the only pair of Loewe shoes that I do have. Okay, up next are these Marnie Shearling shoes, which also give me total Chanel vibes as well. There's definitely a theme, I guess, of Chanel vibes, but be a little extra with it too. These to me are just such a fun, interesting take on a Chanel pump. And they kind of give me a mini mouse effect when I'm wearing it. They're just a really cool shoe that I think is forever going to be part of my collection. Up next are these Midnight Zero Zero babies. And I just love these so much. They're just a weird take on a ladylike shoe again. So I guess that's a theme. I do like ladylike shoes that are kind of weird. They're this beautiful velvet flocked dotted tool that is then covered in plastic. These I actually purchased in one of my earliest videos, which was like an Essence Matches haul, and I'll link that below in case you want to check it out. And these also have not gotten really anywhere out of them. I wore them at Christmas. Ew, I stepped on an actual bug. That is disgusting. Ew. I think they just look different and they just feel really, really special. Up next, we have this gorgeous Chanel pair. I purchased these to go to a wedding and I didn't know what I was wearing to the wedding, but I saw these shoes and I was like, I'm wearing these to the wedding. So whatever dress I can come up with, that's fine. But these are going to be my shoes. That wedding was on New Year's Eve 2019. I ringed in the new year 2020 with these shoes thinking, Things are only looking up from here. And then, you know, we all know what happened after that. And of course the running theme of this is I haven't worn these since that wedding. To me, they're just so beautiful and pretty and classy and elegant and just everything that is Chanel. And I love the little sparkle bow. I love the heel height. They're super easy to walk in. They're very delicate. The heel is white velvet. Because they're so delicate, I only want to pull them out for very special occasions. Up next are these Gucci sandals. I just love these so much. The heel is a nice little heel that's super comfortable. To me, these sandals are so golden girls. They're very grandma orthopedic. But they're kind of sexy at the same time. I don't know, maybe I'm a weirdo and they're just sexy to me and everyone is like, what are you talking about, girl? These are not sexy shoes. It has little crystals on the buckle that say Gucci gang. I just think these are so fabulous. The shell with a little bit of sparkle is just so mwah. Next up is this pair of Marnie shoes. I have never worn these. I got them to wear them to something and then I ended up not going and then I ended up never wearing them and then the pandemic hit and these babies have just been sitting in my closet waiting to be worn. They definitely will be worn. I love the cool silver heel that's a little askew. I love the patent green and the patent red mixed with the pink satin. To me these are quintessential Marnie shoes. Up next is this bubble pink pair of a kitten heel by Midnight Zero Zero again. I was in Paris right in the beginning of Marnie right before the lockdown and everything and I got these and I have definitely not gotten a chance to really wear them yet but their time will come. I love the little kitten heel. They're very comfortable and they're made of this really cool stretch jersey. I know they came in a bunch of colors including black. This bubblegum pink was just my favorite and just such a beautiful color. I couldn't pass these up. Next are these Bottega Veneta clog like shoes. These are also a Christmas present to myself. I've actually worn these quite a bit. I made it a point to wear them. These are almost I think four inches and they are so comfortable. I have actually worn these a lot, even though I got them just at Christmas. I've been wearing these like to Target and Trader Joe's. I've been getting dressed up and they're definitely comfortable to do your groceries in and still look chic. Moving on to the Celine pair that I love 
so much. I love the color of these sandals. I remember I got them at the Celine Woodbury outlet in upstate New York. I saw these and I just had to have them. I love everything about them and I remember they were a really good price. They were like marked down quite a few times. These to me are just beautiful ladylike sandals that are super comfortable and I can definitely dress them up or dress them down and they're just a forever shoe. Moving on to the Celine glove shoe. I've actually never worn this shoe. This was another Celine outlet purchase and these glove shoes were just the biggest rage. Everyone had them. I think I had a black pair, a brown pair, a white pair, and this red pair. And this pair was actually the only one I haven't worn and the only one that I kept in my collection. I guess they're more of an archive piece because I find them to be so interesting and beautiful, yet very uncomfortable. Probably the reason they have not been worn for all these years is every time I pull them out and put them on, I'm like, you know what? There's gonna be a lot of walking where I'm going, so not this time. I think they're a part of Phoebe Philo's history at Celine, and I just love having them in my collection, but they're definitely not my go-tos. Moving on to the Balenciaga knife shoe. I think these were the OG night shoes, the first version that came out in the red jersey. I think they're fabulous. I've definitely worn them out a lot. So they are worn out a little bit at the toe, but they're still definitely an iconic shoe for me that I love that I have in my collection. For right now, I think it's just taking a backseat to a lot of new fun stuff. It's not the new guy on the block anymore, but I still love it. Moving on to this cutie pie Jacquemus sandal with the mismatching heel. I do believe this was from the La Bamba collection and I think these were kind of one of the first versions of the mismatching heels. Super comfortable, love wearing them in the summer. As you'll notice actually because I live in Los Angeles, my shoe collection tends to be a lot more summery and a lot less boots and other cold weather shoes. I think I definitely have a lot less of those than I have of fun stuff like this. Next are these two pairs of Prada shoes. I got the yellow ones first, wore them so much that I ended up getting the black pair as well. I love how sporty the bands look compared to everything else that's happening with these shoes. They're just like a weird hybrid of a sporty shoe and a fancy shoe. Very Mucha Prada and very cool. In the same vein of a little kitten heel sandal, I have these Marnie shoes. These are leather with a little fur trim in red. Definitely more of a winter shoe because of the fur trim. And I just love how weird they are. They're just weird shoes. Like, what are these? I love them so much. Like, what kooky mind thought of these? I love them. Up next are these Marnie sandals. They're this cream leather sandal with a black kind of abstract square in the front. These are just fun summer shoes that are feminine and kind of everyday. I think a lot of the times for everyday shoes, I tend to have much more masculine shoes. So these are a few of the everyday kind of less masculine and more feminine shoes. And then in similar vein, I have these Mary Nasir Zadeh shoes that are also more feminine and ladylike everyday kind of sandal for summer. They're in this beautiful yellow color and they're really comfortable and really easy to walk in as I think actually most of her shoes are. This is also another MNZ pair. They're actually leather but it's this metallic leather. I love a little pop of shine and color they add to any outfit but they're super comfortable and honestly seeing them I'm like I've been sleeping on these. I haven't worn these in so long. I need to pull them back out again. They're really fun. And then one more pair of MNZ shoes are these green patent leather kind of very mod heel with a plastic buckle. Out of all the pairs that I just showed you of her shoes, these are actually the least comfortable ones, but probably the coolest looking ones. They're kind of really hard, but I still love them just because they're so fabulous. Next are these cool slingbacks from Marnie. They're kind of pilgrim-like. They have a puffy leather trim all throughout. They're just such a fun Marnie shoe. I see these and I'm like, these are Marnie. They're just weird and odd, but yet ladylike and feminine at the same time. They're really everything I need in a shoe. Moving on to a few chunky sandals, starting with these Balenciagas. I got these in a haul. I'll link the haul below. These are baby pink and they're the sandal version of the Balenciaga track sneakers. They're extremely comfortable. I feel like I could run track in these or play sports or whatever. I don't do any of that, but I could if I wanted to. I actually think they're so intricately made and beautiful and interesting. To me, these are like 
like a piece of art. And I love the sarcasm of the baby pink soft color with this huge chunky shoe. Moving on to another chunky sandal. I have these Bottega. They're from the new Bottega. I think I got these in Paris in March of 2020 and I have worn them quite a bit. I love the sole is kind of like uh, a Todd's car shoe. They're extremely comfortable, extremely beautiful and kind of weird, which I just love. Then I have these Chanel dad sandals that I got in 2019. Whenever I've worn these, especially like if I've been in a Chanel store wearing these, everyone is like freaking out and asking me where I got them. Honestly, I didn't even know they were such a hyped item until people told me that they were a hyped item. I actually wanted the inverted pair, the black pair with the white or cream Chanel's and CC logos, but they were sold out of that one and they had one pair of these left. So I scored these and I didn't even know they were such a huge score. These are completely rubber and they are so comfortable. The dad sandals from Chanel are literally the most comfortable Chanel shoes that Chanel makes. Okay, moving on from an extremely comfortable Chanel sandal are these extremely uncomfortable Chanel sandals. I wish I didn't buy these and I wish I bought the black Chanel dad sandals instead. This, this width front of the shoe that has the Chanel on it is just so small. It's just so tight that every time I wear it, it pinches my toes. They're just like an everyday shoe that I should be able to just slip on and wear anytime and they're not. And I don't have an extremely wide foot, so I don't know who these are made for, people with extremely, extremely thin feet. Moving on to these Marnie Pearl sandals. One of my favorite sandals I have, these are the Fussbed style with the pearls added to it. I love the chunky, oversized feel of the shoe mixed with the ladylike pearls. I just love the juxtaposition of the two. And the bottom of these are actual tires. I think this is just the classic Marnie shoe that is a forever shoe. Okay, coming up are these Gucci loafers. And these are probably the most worn shoes out of all my shoes. I have just worn these to death. They're so comfortable. I just love how dandy they are. They dress up everything. I love them. Hands down, the most comfortable shoe that I own. And they're a classic and you can't go wrong with it. Up next are these Marnie Chunky Loafers with the piercings. I got these in a haul as well and I'll link that haul in the description. I actually got them on the Real Real. I've been wearing them so much recently. I just think these are such a fun, cool take on the Chunky Loafer trend. I do still have my eyes on the Prada Chunky Loafers, but now that summer is coming and they're still sold out, I don't think I'll be purchasing them this year because when summer is here, I really don't feel like wearing loafers. So kind of the ship has sailed with the Prada ones and these have definitely taken in the Prada one's place. And then from the same Marnie season, I have these sneakers. They're a mixed green shearling with the animal print. And I actually got these on the Real Real as well. Both these and the loafers were brand new in the box. I'm super excited. I've been wearing these as well as the chunky loafers from Marnie so, so much since December. I feel like I'm definitely getting my money's worth. I actually have three pairs of boots I wanna show you and then we're done with part one. First pair of boots are these Prada boots. They're from the Frankenstein collection. They're patent leather. Probably one of my favorite shoes I own. I think they're just sexy Britney Spears dominatrix Prada girl. I had to get my hands on the hot pink ones but I'm definitely regretting also not purchasing the black ones and I am currently in the market to find the black version of these boots. Up next are these Magda boot trim cream boots. The little tassel attachment with pearls is actually detachable so you can have them be fancy or not fancy. I wear these either way. The heel is really small and ladylike and they're super comfortable. I just love the added little touch of glamour with the pearl and the crystal attachment and I love that it's removable too and they can just be a beautiful basic shoe as well. Last but not least are these old Celine boots. These are actually also a purchase from the Real Real. Featured them in the haul as well and I'll link that haul in the description. These boots are from the Phoebe Philo Celine days and they're a stretch leather that's a mixed combination of this kind of yellowy buttery color with black. The heel is on the higher side of things. They are a very sexy cool boot that I just love. Well, we've come to an end. That was part one. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see part two or three or however many I have to come up with, let me know in the comments and definitely hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye!